Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa! A warning! A warning! I know the show was starting. <laughs> I'm so tired. Why am I so tired? We had 20 seconds. We had. We had like a minute 30. God. I'm okay. There was a human in the water. I need to call. You what? The thing. All right, I'll come fix your camera. Hold on. I'm not this small. Oh no. But I'm not this small. Oh no. We need an adult, and that adult is Ryan. Why are the lights oh, no. still on in there, I by the way? I off the camera by touching it. Oh. Hey, isn't the light in the room <laughs> supposed to be off as it well? Oh, oh, it is off? Oh, you light know. is so right. aggressive. Why? We had all this well, Wednesday night. night. We sat for an hour. Up right I up was up getting a warning, Ryan. and Ryan's camera, and the <laughs> oh, oh, cucumber's camera now ready. Oh, oh my god. Oh, really aggressive on cucumber today. Why does cucumber oh. look like crap? Oh, thank you for the bits. Oh. No, that's just my face. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're at least so you're honest. Right. Thank you. You're, you're very bright. No, your camera's you're overexposed. Is what I'm saying. You were oh, luminous good. tonight. Thank you. You're luminous. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Hi, everybody. Welcome to Perception Check Wednesday night D and D with the Felted Friends. That's us. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The two of us. Oh, yeah. There you go. That's right. <laughs> yeah. I'm, yeah. We got well, two meatbags. Well, said That's like you're like the second person I've ever heard who says that <laughs> regularly. No worries. Yeah. Oh, when decisive music. Great. 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 Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. No, no music either. I was checking no, it, to make sure it was working. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Let's keep it turning off. For you. <laughs> Anyways, our left. sponsors for tonight. Our Norse <laughs> Foundry. Oh, I'm huge. There we go. Yeah, huge. I was wow. the world. You're also the wrong. I think your white balance is off. Yeah, you're know. you're like you're like sickly green yellow, not like your normal. <laughs> Ryan's That's like a highlighter is too. He's a little too much. White How about balance. that? <laughs> <laughs> Good. Right, oh, let's get started. Okay. Immensely. Sounds good. <laughs> Welcome to Perception Check Wednesday night. Rhyme of the Frost Maiden with our sponsors Norse Foundry, Wormwood, and Level Up Dice. <laughs> you can use the code Perception uh, at checkout for Wormwood, but not during sales. Did we figure out what was going on I with the code? I haven't figured out what's going on with that quite yet. I'll, I'll, I'll let everybody know in the like, chat when I do. Oh, I cold one. glow. One, <laughs> one at a time. You, you know where you can go to find out that information? The Discord. So don't forget to join the Discord. <laughs> That's that right. There you go. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's have both of you fix the color at the same time. Wait. How oh, what? my God. Oh, fuck. I didn't know you were there. <laughs> I'm fixing shit. Hmm. You were literally here like, like two hours early, by the way. <laughs> yeah, those color thing is on your end. Oh, this is the wrong Oh, one. no. Like, Can't blame me. Welcome to perception check. It's <laughs> been a do? day. Everything. Last. It's been what a year. Guess. What have you done? <laughs> it was fine. But, but look, oh, but no. look. I have a I sippy cup now. <laughs> weird. An actual oh, sippy cup. Hmm. We know it. I'm so proud of you. Juice. <laughs> Juice. 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 It's Ariel's it's rape down. show. It's down. It's down. It's down. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome to Perception Check. Let's go down the line. We'll talk about our sponsors. Connie tried, but I'm just gonna do it. Uh, thank you. Uh, okay. for the, okay. Let's start from top to bottom here. Right. We're gonna do. Uh, thank Amateurs. you, Marsh Foundry. They're our newest sponsor. They've been wonderful to us. There uh, at the start of the new year, they're gonna create some <laughs> laser etched <laughs> dice that are gonna have the felt of friend faces on them that we will be giving away all over a series of weeks until they're all gone, uh, as well as some uh, Perception Check logo dice, which will be also pretty nice. Uh, and they have fully sponsored our uh, Fate Frontier show, which was delayed, but not canceled. So we still have two episodes left in that particular game. So that'll push us into the first week of January with Fate Frontiers. Uh, and uh, yeah, they're just cool. They're great. Use code PERCEPTIONCHECK at checkout for 15% off at Norse Foundry. 
Uh, and then, of course, there is Wormwood. Uh, code Perception uh, at checkout for Wormwood is currently not functional, and uh, we're going to get to the bottom of that and let you guys know. Um, but we do Did have... Did you break it? Yes, me personally. Yes, yes I broke it. Yep, that's and true. And that, that's how it that, is. That, that, helps. that explains yep. it. That's what I do. Yep. Gyro Guy, thank you yep. for the sub. 22 months. <laughs> and look at in the cup. It's in the cup. Ooh, that's a big one. It's like a big... <laughs> Ooh. We got one! Uh, we, we got, got a... one! And then, and then, and then. And then, and then, and then. And then, and then, and then. And then, and then, level up dice. Ah, yes, and we to level up dice if you use our links to go shopping or browse, and that's going to help us earn points that we can then use to give away beautiful luxury dice to all of you. Beautiful. Yeah, definitely uh, make sure mm -hmm. if you're, if you're, uh, And Fitzman says, smell the wood. You're damn right. If you get anything from more wood, sniff it. Sniff it mm -hmm. now. It smells so good. Sniff uh, it real good. Do, 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 this. Now, Ryan, you're very dark because of the, the room lights are gone. That's well, lighting in real time. Yeah, just, wait, entertainment. just push a button, any button. Are <laughs> you messing, are you ah, messing with one. the shutter speed? Oh, thanks for the cheers. Oh, or no. the f-stop, Brian. Let's see. Uh, our game okay. is also interactive, Great. everybody. I'll just do the next bit. Uh, yep. $5, you can give any of us Winter's <laughs> Blessing. That is a D6 roll that you can apply to anything. So that's stuff mm -hmm. like re-rolls or checks or whatever, damage, health, what have you. Now for $10, and you can give us individual, what, what? I was gonna say huh? it prevents uh, you guys from uh, my DM rerolls too. So if I Show force you guys enough. to do a reroll, you can uh, you can use your blessing to save it. For sure, for sure. You right, you right. For sure, for sure. Mm -hmm. And for $10, you can give us, uh, you can either add to the pool of rerolls for all of us to pull from, or you can give us individual rerolls. Uh, blessings are gonna be denoted here with the, with the white zero. And then mm -hmm. there's the black number over here, and that will be our rerolls. Uh, Fifteen dollars, you can give Connie DM rerolls, which allow her to force us to reroll our good rolls. And for twenty-five dollars, you can drop a character of your description into the world. Mm -hmm. Enemy, ally, whatever you want, enjoy it. We are winter themed. This is Rhyme of the Frost Maiden, so get creative. But uh, maybe, maybe a little bit inside the lines. Just, just. Just a little bit, if you can. Uh, and fifty dollars yeah. DM powers for a character of your choice. Uh, that that was a player of your choice. So for one full choice. minute, one of us will get to take over the story for one full minute. It's Car. It's wow. Corey's favorite. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. And I think Ryan misses being DM, so maybe he wants DM powers. So yeah, I think Ryan does miss being DM. <laughs> he misses a lot. Oh, well, hey Ryan, what's that on your shirt? This. It's backwards. Why are you backwards? Because if my screen is mirrored, so I can yeah. see you properly when I'm looking at all what I need to look at. Why are you backwards? I'm mirrored. Yeah, but why? Because yeah, everybody's I facing be to the over left, the and you're the only one facing right. Oh. Uh... <laughs> Anywho, so that's supposed to say Perception Studio. Those are our pins that we just got in for uh, our, our our level, uh, our tier three and above patrons. Patreon! Uh, so they still got to be all arranged and put on their backings and their little bags, but uh, we're going to start collecting addresses soon for all of our patrons at level three and above so that we can get you your pins. And those are Patreon exclusive. They aren't going to ever land in our store. They're just for our backer backers over there. There will be future pins that we will eventually get to all of you, and backers will get those pins uh, on their own just for continuing to subscribe for us uh, on Patreon. Uh, yes, please. Uh, yar. Yar. I think we did the yar. things. All right, so we did check mark all the things. We right. still have to introduce ourselves. Oh, yes. Okay. Mm. Starting from Corey. <laughs> Oh, hi, I'm Corey. I'm playing Nimia. She is a Minotaur bard. Um, yeah, 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 she's awesome. I like her. Hi, I'm Brata. I'm a Leonin fighter, level five with psionics. Uh, and uh, my accent varies from Scottish to Russian, depending on the sentence. Mm. Mm -hmm. And I'm Chunk. 
and I'm playing Thruff Root. I'm a high elf, something, something, paladin, paladin. <laughs> yeah, Rum. Thank you for the subscription. Yeah. Then right where he belongs, last place, Ryan. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ryan. I'm playing Eros. He is a Tabaxi monk. Mm. What? What's the name? Your Eros, head's huge. the god of love. Eros. Oh. With like one eye. Eros. Oh my god. Oh what? No. Eros. What? The love kitty. <laughs> no, I just like the name. I didn't pick it out of anything. <laughs> sure. Hey, sure. We, you we, have a, wait. we have a question in <laughs> chat. Valen would like to know if an item can be donated for $25. That's up to Connie. Yes. But don't yeah, get crazy. But we'll have this, yeah, we'll have the same limitation. It's like they can't have more than three items per person. Oh, and Cucumber, you still have the sarcastic spell book. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> Yes. yes I do. So you have that. There is uh, one there. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday, Reed. Huh? Happy birthday. 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 Happy Previously on Perception Check. As the party wakes up from their long rest to the sound of chewing, they discover a yeti is eating um, one of the dead polar bear carcasses, so they quietly pack up their things and head off. As the group is trudging their way back to Bryn Shander, Nimia hears two goblins. The goblins let out a cry, and several more pop out from hiding and attack. <laughs> A larger goblin also arrives on the cart, blocking the way forward. The gang um, manages to get some backup as a skier named Derek arrives, but things get worse when an eight-foot-tall Goliath wizard with a sarcastic spellbook gets out of the back of the goblin cart. The litter of goblins are dispatched easily enough, and um, though Thoreau keeps vomiting after killing him, Kolra fireballs the goblin boss to death as Baratta guts the Goliath from throat to Scroat. And with the raiding goblins dead, Derek challenges Bratta to a ski race. Bratta wins the race with the help of his psionic powers, and as a good show of sportsmanship, Derek escorts the gang back into town. The party ba arrives back at the bubbling cauldron where Herna pays the gang uh, for the ingots they retrieve. Holy shit! TKH! Uh, I misread that, and then I read that. Uh. Uh, here's my Christmas present for all of you. Love you guys. Characters. Five teenagers with attitude. Weirdly indifferent primary colored outfits teleport in front of the party. They don't understand actual violence, bleeding, or dying. Oh, no. Oh, thank you. <laughs> what did you read? Ay, 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 ay. It's what? morphin what did you time. Read? Nothing. 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 And we're it really isn't so funny. Sports. I misread the number, not the words. Oh. oh. See, that's what happens. That's what happens. <laughs> All right. So we will drop those in. Uh, da -da -da. They arrive back at the bubbling cauldron where Herna pays the gang for the ingots they retrieve. They also get a discount at the uh, blacksmithing. Uh, if they need it, Herna introduces them to Lena, who has got another job for them. Turns out there's a guy by the name of Sefik Kaltro who needs to be taken care of. He usually hangs out um, at Dugan's Hole. The party Sounds takes the job. not viral. <laughs> <laughs> but decides to set out in the morning. Suddenly, Elva's sister, Anne, barges in. She's looking for the jerk that hit her sister with the rock. Barata confesses that it was him, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo, but makes it up to her by giving Anne part of their payment so Elva can uh, get some singing lessons. and leaves and narrowly avoiding a rock Kolra throws at her. After another long rest, the party decides to head out, but swings by the blacksmiths to take advantage of the discount they got. They ask to get their armor and weapons upgraded, and after the they're told it'll be a few hours. They head back to the bar for more drinking. A lot of drinking. At which a gnome druid named Plaid with a weasel familiar arrives. Uh, Thoreau and Nimia uh, invite him to come drink with them while Barata controls his appetite around the weasel. The party gets word that their gear is ready and Plaid uh, comes along as they head off for Dugan's Hole. Which is where we <laughs> got. Dum Dum Dugan's Hole. <laughs> Dum Dum Dugan's <laughs> Hole. The trenches were a Dugan's Hole. 
<laughs> Miss Tiger on. We, uh, we haven't we already... started on the journey yet because we just got our stuff from the blacksmith back, right? Correct. Yes. Yeah, you guys have not left town yet. You just got your equipment back. And before you guys were heading out, uh, that's where we stopped off. So you all have your new equipments. Uh, yes. Leveled up armors and all that good stuff. Yeah. Oh, Valen, thank you for oh. that. An intelligent battle axe plus one that calls itself Bone Saw as it is serrated and likes to chop and chew its way through enemies. Are you ready? <laughs> Perfect. So we pick up uh, at the blacksmith shop. You guys have now collected your uh, newly upgraded items. And as you are about to uh, take off and head to your wagon, you hear uh, the dwarven blacksmith call yell after. Wait, 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 wait. Our sword 2K, thank you very much. Uh, uh, because Ryan is long deserving of this, two full minutes of DM powers. <laughs> and then also oh, fan of games, just tip $10 Winter's Blessing for Thruff Rue. Woo! Woo! Thank you. Nice. Thank you very much, everybody. And thank you, Machan, for those cheers Ooh. earlier. Yeah, I watched them going by. Uh, All right, Ryan. Three, so two, one, go. Two? We're not even. No. Wait, I'm not no, even introduced. No. Yet. <laughs> no. We're, no. We're at two not there songs. <laughs> We're, we're at two, two parts, parts already. already. We're at two parts. We're at two yeah. parts already. And Ryan has got a minute and a half left in his uh, his two minute DM powers. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> He's playing Eros, the God of Love and Impatience, apparently. God of Love and Impatience. I worship the God of Impatience, so there you go. And the God of Love. <laughs> <laughs> okay, should I introduce what's happening first and then we'll do the bard song? Or Ryan or can introduce bard... himself finally. And then we can- I'm not the DM! So he, can not ah! so he can stop complaining about not being introduced. Yeah. I'm not! Whatever happens, <laughs> let's introduce Ryan. <laughs> so he no. stops complaining about how he's not on the, the show yet. Powers? Order! Order in the court! Oh, <laughs> I, need, I need a cap, man. Look, you, 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 we've regressed Corey another 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a dippy cup. You're done. <laughs> She's going back in time! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, <laughs> Oh god. Okay, so the Dwarven Blacksmith Cole, uh, as you guys turn around and begin to head out, <laughs> yells you after you. He's like, oh hey, one of my blacksmiths has left this behind for you to use. He, he left a note on it and says, to the heroes of Icewind Dale. And so he hands over this gnarly looking battle axe that is made and shaped out of bone. And on the blade of the axe is just like spiked bones all along the side. So he's he's handing it out. He wants to grab it. Uh, does anybody else really like battle axes? I like battle axes. You may take it. I just upgraded my own battle axe. Oh, sweet. I'll take it. All right. Sweet. So, Thruff now has the bone saw. <laughs> and as as you pick up this bone, bone-like battle axe and you hold it in your hand, you hear this little voice in the back of your head. It's like, we're ready for playtime. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Uh, so you guys uh, have collected your items, and as you are walking back to your wagon to head out of Brinshander towards Dugan's Hole, uh, from the bubbling cauldron, you see this uh, main coon-like tabaxi run after out of the uh, bubbling cauldron with a note. <clears throat> Gentlemen! Six uh, feet, please. Yes, of course. Yeah. I believe this... Uh... No, just for you. For who? For Which three of us? one of us? Me specifically? I forgot I have an accent. Her specifically? Or the orange one? Or Which the other one? It's addressed to everyone. We missed oh. one. We're missing one. Yes. I think it's for all yeah. you heroes. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. All They'll right. show up. All right, what does it say? <laughs> Here you go. Read it out loud. <gasps> As you I unfold the note. 
Huh? I would like to know what? why the Tabaxi mentioned a gentleman for the entire group. <clears throat> yeah. There are yeah. the other yeah. three. Yeah. 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 Pretty Tawaxi. Okay. <laughs> what does the, that letter say? What is the letter? <laughs> Open the letter and it says Ice, what? ice what Wind Heroes. <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> Pay attention. <laughs> yep. Take a shot, Connie. Take a shot. <laughs> yep. Okay. As, as you open up this note, it says Icewind Heroes. Meet me. me at Good Mead uh, in the Mead Hall when you have completed your mission. My friend here, Eros, will accompany you to find Sephic. That's right. all it says. And then it's signed. We go Lena to Trolbane. good mead. We get the good mead. We drink the good mead. And then we mead, mead, mead. I mostly just heard mead out of that entire letter. <laughs> and something about syphilis. <laughs> Lena's basically Zephyr. telling you that uh, she'll meet you in good mead, which is different from Dugan's Hole, where uh, Sephic is. Yeah. But Eros has previous business from both towns, so that's why he is escorting you. And Lena knows this, and Eros is extremely trustworthy, so she's entrusted him to guide you guys uh, to get Seth. Oh, how fancy. Right. Weak little mm -hmm. cat person, you go in front. <laughs> uh, of course. I mean, I am go escorting on, go you through on. the town. Less talking, more doing. Right. Follow me. All right. So uh, who is taking over the animals, and then who is sitting in the back? Cole Ra uh, automatically goes and hops in the back of the wagon, and he gets uh, settled right. in and comfy. The animals? Hmm? The horses? The two horses? Oh, yeah. yeah, got it. Yeah, I also okay. sit in the back so that I don't get tempted to eat the horses. But don't forget that Plaid is back there with uh, his weasel familiar as well oh, because yeah, you invited no, I him along. I, I take care of the horses. I take care of the horses. I try to control them. Right. I'm sitting up front with the horses as well. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna crawl up and, and take a nap. Sounds good. All right, so uh, there's only one person that's actually handling the animals. Brata Nimia, you can decide between yourselves, or you can roll off. Who gets the <laughs> animal handle? <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's was waiting for that. Uh, So I can do the animal handling, absolutely. <laughs> All right, roll me an animal handling check. <laughs> cool. Oh. Ah, where'd it go? Collar <laughs> keeps sinking. Got a 16. 16. So with a quick flick of your wrist, the horses gallop and take off, and you guys are going at a decent speed. You guys are estimated to arrive at Dugan's Hole in about three and a half hours. But you do pass by Goodmead uh, at about the two and a half hour mark uh, as a pit stop because you are following the paths around. All right. Oh, it's you, um, just over here. All right. Lead the way, little kitty. I am big kitty. All <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, you're lying. Mm -hmm. No, he's not telling the, the truth. Fear your... <laughs> <laughs> All right, as you guys are traveling, we'll we'll say that you guys get there without issue. But uh, Thruff, you are taking a nap. Kolra, Barata, and Eros, please make me a perception check as you guys are just kind of keeping an eye out as, as you're traveling. I'm not keeping much of an eye. I got a one. I also 17. got a one. <laughs> uh, but I, I guess a six total. Unless we're critting it. 17. Oh my gosh. Y'all no, see die, die, nothing. Die. Everything die, die. fine. There's not a care in the world. There's nothing following you. Everything's great. Do I notice <laughs> I anything? Think like, I'm handling the horses really well. Do I notice anything? Was 17 not uh, enough to notice anything? Oh, you got 17? I thought you 17. got a one, too. <laughs> no, oh. I said 17. I you're not listening. I thought that's <laughs> rough. But, you know, it's bad enough that Ryan doesn't listen to me. I have another DM who doesn't listen to me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> this gets longer. Yes, yes, Rata first. Uh, 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 what do you want? Uh, what do you that want? <laughs> that LC Gamer says, uh, Good day, guys. Hope the Felted Friends and Fleshbag families have wonderful and amazing holiday. All the love from the land of tomorrow. Thanks, Wee! 
Uh, and then I was also gonna say, I think the reason uh, Eros and I both got ones is because we're like two neighborhood cats that just won't stop staring at each other, but neither of us are gonna make a move. So it's like, we're oh all my bristled. god. Just... <laughs> you guys are all like perfect. They're just kind of like there, they're just like. Uh-oh. Uh, uh, oh no! Cole oh, no. sitting in the back is just like, huh. You guys are silly. For a <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so Thruff, you actually do notice uh, with your high perception, Nimio. I thought that Thruff was asleep. <laughs> but I was very aware. I was like, <laughs> my eyes closed, but still listening to everything. Oh my God. Like I was just, Girl, I was just, you I was just resting. I was just resting. Like this. Okay, you elf. Been in here for four hour meditations. <laughs> there okay. you go. That's what I was doing. Yeah, but you're only on the road for three and a half hours. Surprise, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so were you asleep or were you perceptioning? I was Make meditating, so I was I could still percept. <laughs> Perceive? <laughs> Roll that perception at disadvantage. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, I'm a, I'm a DM roll that. Ooh. Eleven. Ah, perfect. You guys see nothing. Nothing. Everything's fine. Oh. Nimia, do you want to make a perception check? <laughs> I would like to. I think that I'm handling the horses very well. I think that I could perceive some things. <laughs> I, I think you are very confident in your uh, horse handling abilities right now, so you can definitely kind of make a passing perception. I've got an 18. <laughs> wow. That's my girl. All right. Uh, so as as you're doing the horses, you're you're going along and watching, and you do notice that there is some movement on the side of the road. What, brata? Yeah. Uh, Case car says greetings and Merry Christmas Eve, Eve. Just happened upon the stream and love it. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Stick around. We got lots of shows here, so if you're curious, join the Discord. Look at our, Discord. our schedule. Uh, and uh, welcome to the family. Got welcome all kinds to, of stuff yeah. for you. Welcome. Check the reel. Check the YouTube. All the good yes. stuff. Drinky, yep, drinky. Yep, yep. Every interruption right, yeah. equals a drinky, apparently. <laughs> oh. Bye bye, Connie. <laughs> oh, Listen. Marshall White 2K, oh. item a big bag of catnip. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the big bag of catnip going to? It's just Is an anyone? item. It might just exist. Really? I mean, We're almost to our third bard song. We haven't even done our first go bard song. Lump. Oh my god. <laughs> Should we do a first okay. bard song? Probably. Yeah, and then Ryan does the second one. I'm gonna be doing third all of one with you. It... What third one? I'm taking Take over Ryan's place. Ryan does a bar song by himself. <laughs> right now we're at three hundred. Special occasion. At, at Ryan. I thought that was at three. Okay, three hundred. At three hundred. Which we're almost there already. Yeah, we're only we're like. like we're only like we're I love, I love the democracy. Rooster. Everybody, thanks for joining us. Uh, welcome. We're, we're we've just recently started a rhyme of the frost maiden with our with our DM Connie. Mm -hmm. He's down there, and it also yeah. says so underneath. So there's really no reason for me to point it out, but I'm gonna do it. Anyway. <laughs> um, and you just walked in just in time for us to agree that Ryan's gonna sing at our third bar song, That's song. Right. or just do a bar oh, song. <laughs> Hi, DDG. <laughs> Uh, and also, oh. for those of you who don't know, Scabby Rooster, they're, 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 they're friends of ours. So go give them a follow, go give them some love. If we could do a, a shouty out in the chat for them, the exclamation shouty point out. SO, shouty. and then their channel so everybody can have a very easily clickable link for our new friends. Mm -hmm. Or not our old new friends, our old friends! They're great! <laughs> uh, uh, happy holidays, Scabby Rooster. Happy holidays! Uh, I agree with Val in the chat, by the way. What is Val's what, what is it? I think at 300, 300, Connie the DM should do a bard song, because that's what Brian did. Oh! Alright, then we'll move down Ryan to 200. And then we'll yeah. put Kanye at, at, at 300. <laughs> that sounds good to me. How about Ryan stays at 300, also at four. How about What's we just sing the one? <laughs> Let's just start at the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> on the road again. Start at All right. The so do we do we like the, the, the drinking song format? Do we I mean, I was fine with it. No. Okay. Corey, 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 Corey. Oh. Corey, Corey. All right, drink Look, look at me. Corey, look at me. You Corey, have to sing me. less, Corey. Focus. Less singing. Focus. All you got to do is rhyme with chunk. Just rhyme with chunk. You don't have to make sense. I mean, it would help, but you don't have to make sense. Oh, yeah, I'm My brain with Ryan. literally goes empty. My brain goes empty. It's like, what rhymes with, like, anything? Like, ah. You have the whole time the cucumber singing. Don't listen yeah. to cucumber. You, yeah, use my line to figure out what you're going to rhyme with chunk. There you go. 
It's not gonna work, but I'm about it. Let's go. Let's okay. It. It's not gonna work out well. I was fine. All right. Yeah, oh. hardliner's got you, chat. He's, he's got you. Oh. 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 We went to Dugan's Hollow. It, there was a lot of snow. Uh, a small cat man we did follow. And now it's time to go. We went upon a cart now. With lots of horses too. I have two horses, not a cow. And we have some catnip to chew. Oh, <laughs> okay. Wait, the nice start it. And then it's my turn to start it. Sure, let's do that. Oh, no. You're still <laughs> running with Trump. Nothing's changed. <laughs> we have to big. We have a giant kitty. His name is Bratatu. They just got really litty. <laughs> 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 and now they might ev- go brawl. You? Yep. Sure. Junk. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's. We'll, we'll take it back to Ryan. We had more more rhyme scheme going on there. Um, <laughs> Just finish it. This is the last one. Uh, that threw me off. That's all you need to know. Our horses are real cute. God damn it! No, that's me. The horses are big and strong. They they pull our wagon. Uh, but the but there might be something wrong when they start drinking flagons. Oh, I need all right, that's one bard song down. She was, uh, oh boy. And the horses are already drunk. <laughs> yeah, and I like that Ryan wasn't drinking from flagons. He was literally drinking flagons. <laughs> it's a, it's a unit of measurement. Yeah, yeah, drinking flagons. <laughs> well, welcome, new friends. Uh, so at every hundred dollars, we unlock a bard song. We're already almost to our third one. That was our first one. So we're gonna we're gonna wait a little bit before doing the second one. Because um, that was rough. What? Oh, the games. Oh. Fuck, we just. Oh, oh, we're so close. Uh, DM, games, re-roll. Like, DM re-roll. DM re-roll. What if at three hundred we like call Kinney or something like that? Mm, what's he doing? I don't kids. know. I don't know. We can't. Wait, what's this know number? That. This is blessings. This he's is not here. He's with his kids. That's re-rolls? Right. Or is this re-rolls? This is this blessings. Is this is re-rolls. The white this one is blessings. Is the blessings. Are re-rolls. Okay. Hey, Scars, I usually yeah. watch Critical Role, but this is totally in my wheelhouse. Well, yeah. glad to be up among titans. Much appreciated. Yes. We should tell everybody who watches Critical World to watch yeah. this instead. Can we, can we quote that and put it on a bumper sticker? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if you like Critical Role, you'll love this. <laughs> you'll love this bullshit. Yeah! <laughs> I mean, technically, we have a quote directly from Matt Mercer that he said, I'd watch the shit out of this, but... <gasps> yeah, Why that is that not a talking command? directly about us? I was talking about a concept like us. I handed him my card but and he said, still, holy shit, I would watch the shit out of this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Cool. So that's like our good to the last drop. We're just gonna yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Catch it. <laughs> ching ching, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> ching ching. He actually did. <laughs> but he well, thought he get might. <laughs> last night, so Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, but, uh, yeah. Anywho, so we're in a wagon. Right. There's some movement uh, off to the side. Uh, uh, yes. Yeah. So Nimia notices uh, some movement while she's uh, yeah. driving yeah. the horses over on the left-hand side. She she sees a uh, movement through the brushes, and it looks very similar to like those little ice foxes that you saw the first night that you camped out um, over by the goblins. But you did you happen to catch uh, that they didn't have regular eyes. That they had blue kind of glowing eyes. Who and they're little like snow foxes? But those are just white people. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you you notice uh, that there are like three of them running kind of, not alongside the wagon, but over off in the brushes, kind of in pack formation, running through the brushes, but following the wagon. Okay. Yeah, uh, like, like keeping pace with it. Okay. Um, I I kind of on the download like I, I tell Brata because he's up there with me. Um, right? 
Yeah. And then I just tell them, like, hey, move on to the back and, like, tell the rest of the group that they're there. Just, like, quietly, though. Uh, what? I was looking at you, but I wasn't listening to you. <laughs> <laughs> leans over, she says, uh, there, there are some snow foxes, like, creatures oh. following us. Can you move to the back and tell the rest of the group, but, like, quietly? Right. I will do this. I crawl into the Meanwhile, back of the his eyes are like poof because of the catnip. <laughs> like, Has the catnip arrived already? <laughs> I, I don't know. Say, actually, in the back of the wagon, you guys haven't checked to see what kind of stuff the goblins had in the wagon yet. <laughs> so, uh, not only do you find a quiver full of arrows, you find a couple extra gold pieces, some ingots, a pickaxe. You also find a large kind of sack that seems to be filled with some sort of herbage. Herbage? Herbage. 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 Right. Uh, uh, rah, rah. Eros. Raw. Ruff. Fuck. Thruff. 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 We are being followed by little foxes. Do you smell that? I thought it was oh, a little foxes? foxes? No. I, uh, Brata rolls onto his back and starts kind of like <laughs> just pawing at nothing. <laughs> Fuck, it's not, do you not do you not smell this? Do you not mm, 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 Plaz the about you, notices mm. the bag in the corner. He's like, oh, well, I, I think it's coming from that bag. If if I'm not mistaken, it does seem to be some sort of like a dried catnip. <gasps> oh. Brata starts bashing his face up against it and just like oh grinding it. Just, <laughs> oh <laughs> no. <laughs> Make a constitution saving throw. <laughs> and Eros is definitely like coming over to the bag and like pops out, pops out a claw and starts to like kind of etch through the canvas to grab some. Scratching at the bag. Yeah. Oh no. I got a 10. <laughs> you succumb to the catnip herbage and as you shove your face into the bag of catnip you you pull back your eyes completely dilated and you just go full cat mode and you just roll onto your back and just I start scratching his belly <laughs> I like bite, but I don't bite hard. I just kind of playfully nip at him. <laughs> just kind of nom I don't know why, but I feel like today is going to be a great day. <laughs> Save it for the OnlyFans, all right? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, at, at that point, while well, the two felines uh, find the bag of catnip in the wagon, uh, mm -hmm. Colra sitting back there, he's like, hey, uh, those foxes that you were talking about, they're behind us now. So you guys, well, except for Nimia, because she's looking forward with the, uh, the horses, the rest of you notice that there are now six of the foxes that have converged. So three on each side have now converged behind the wagon. They're following at a pretty good distance. But as soon as you turn to like watch them and notice them, they stop dead in their tracks. And as the cart continues to pull away, the snow blurs your vision and you can't see them anymore. But you see two pairs of glowing large eyes standing about eight feet above them. And Cole, since Colra was the one that noticed it, oh god, does not make his saving throw. He becomes petrified and just uh, clunk into the wagon. I think huh. he took too much of the catnip. Didn't know that could happen. I didn't know you could overdose on catnip. I know. You can overdose well, Colra didn't have any of the catnip. But, uh, Eros, make me a history check. Hmm. I grab some of the catnip, I, I pull it out of the bag, and I put it in a little pouch that I put. I was like, this is going to be useful later. It's <laughs> uh -huh. like a big hand. I'm still just going. No one has told me about anything that has changed. Well, Nimia's just I, like... I'm just rolling around on my back. So I'm completely useless Going on right right the top back, and you're just like, this is fine. Yeah. Everything's Nobody great. Nobody told me anything. <laughs> I, I did, though. I told everybody. Oh, yeah, you did. Yeah. And then I except I Nimia. Why didn't you tell Nimia? She told no, me. No, I told Rata. And then I told you. Wait, wasn't 
Okay. Holy hell. <laughs> oh god. I got an what was that my... history check, Eros? Eat, please. Eat? Yeah. You vaguely remember that the Frost Maiden sometimes appears to people in the form of just glowing blue eyes. Huh. <sighs> I think that was the Frost Maiden. What? Your, Eros, your what card has pulled your far voice? away enough to <clears throat> the eyes have disappeared <laughs> into the snow. All of the eyes? Oh. Yes, those glowing blue eyes out there. Yeah. Yes. Wow. She appears to people every once in a while. Those blue eyes. Wow. <laughs> As you continue your journey, you guys end up uh, going to. Uh, you stop by Goodmead first. Does anybody want to hop off, or are you going to go straight to Dugan's Hole? We needed to. Uh, after the mission, right? You we said after to, we drew. After mission, we go Correct. to Honey Mead. I see, I see. Happy Mead. Yeah. Yes. Mead Hall. Good Mead. Yeah, Lena oh, left in the note to meet at Good Mead in the Mead Hall after you've completed the mission. Mead right. Yeah, no need to stop. And no need to stop. I forgot my voice. <laughs> you guys, uh, there's no need to stop just yet. Right. Onward Push on, to yes. Dugan's Hall. And may it be gaping. What? What? <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> uh, oh, Thruff, actually, make yeah. me a history check. And poof, you're a history check. <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> Dirty 20. Dirty 20. Dirty 20? Perfect. So, <laughs> Ryan, feel, does it give you joy to feel to see that? It does. does it make you happy? No, okay. Shout and cry. This is what we feel like all the time, Ryan. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Ooh, it's fun to cause the chaos. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Bye bye. Uh, <laughs> you. With your Dirty 20 history check, you uh, have heard that Dugan's Hole actually isn't the friendliest of towns and that it is extremely small and that yeah. they don't take uh, well to visitors. So they're very self-preservating. Yes, Barata? Hey, thank you for the follow. Thank you thank for the follow. follow, Dragon okay. Claw or Dragon Corona. <laughs> Dragon um, Corona. Dragon I tell them, hey, you guys, this town's not so friendly. We should be real careful around these parts. They should just have a little bit of this. They will calm down immediately. I feel mm. that only works on you Kelly people. Yeah, I'm afraid that's <laughs> true. You seem very unaffected, Eros. Yeah, Are what the fuck? I have a very high tolerance. Uh, oh. Yeah. He's a I, uh, recovering I grabbed a bag. addict. <laughs> I grab uh -oh. the bag, open it, and shove his face in it. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> Contestant strength roll. Or are oh. you letting this happen, Eros? Uh, oh, he, he likes, likes, he likes, likes it. He likes it. He likes it. Here. I was probably unexpecting it, so I would say I'd roll at disadvantage. Okay. Yeah. Contested strength, so rough roll that strength. Oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Well, Connie, you're gonna let him talk to you like that? He's helping! <laughs> He's assisting! Eleven. Eleven! Eleven! That's Eleven. a good chunk. Oh, what am I rolling? Contested strength. Strength. Oh. A, a roll. Fifteen. Ah, uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, you, you are able to take Eros' head and shove it into the bag of catnip. He is now engulfed. Make a constitution saving throw, Arrows. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See if you succumb to the catnip. I'm huh. a knight. You're having a hard time reading those dice? Yeah, because he's in the dark. Look at him. Yeah. Oh, it's a four. The dark. There it is. <laughs> five. Are you getting old? You some glasses? Oh, five? Oh, <laughs> Ooh, girl. Yeah, it's a five. Your your eyes dilate to the size of saucers, and as you pull your head out from the bag, <sighs> high tolerance. He said, "It's it's <laughs> it's been a while." <laughs> I uh, so when he's done, I like sniff the bag twice, and then I pass it to Thruff. <laughs> 
my god. <laughs> I, I look at it. I also sniff it. Mm. I, pass it back. I pass it over to Nemia. <laughs> I want to sniff it. Just a bag of catnip just getting passed around the oh, wagon. I'm a minotaur. I don't think it does anything to me. <laughs> this, is, this is true. Plaid is just sitting there like, oh, I'm, I'm okay, thanks. And then the weasel just kind of buries a little bit deeper in his furs and hides. Oh. <laughs> does he still have his have little munchies. <laughs> Where's the weasel? Oh, yeah. No, the weasel is buried in the fur. Like, you can't, you can barely see it. It's just like, eek. You can always get new weasel. Hmm. Yes, you can get more weasels. No, I'm not that's a that's a, that's okay. Arrows, we be the hood over yes. the weasel's face, but the, you don't see him anymore. Give us the weasel. <laughs> no, 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 that's okay. I'll just sit here. I'll just, maybe I'll get off over at Dugan's hole. <laughs> so you guys, are you attacking no. <laughs> I'm you just looking really, this really weasel, hard. Sir? Pro yes, I am threatening them, but probably unintentionally. I don't think I realize how aggressive I'm coming off because I'm so, so in the catnip. <laughs> oh my god. That, this is true. You are very intoxicated by the catnip mm -hmm. right now. Mm hmm. <sighs> well, with Nimia's uh, fast work of the horses, she's able to get you guys to Dugan's Hole in three and a half hours, but. Because of Ariel's spell over the Icewind Dale, it is already dark. There is only four hours of daylight. Yeah. Daylight, quote unquote. And it's more like twilight. Because there is no sun. Twilight. Uh, you arrive at Dugan's Hole, you guys uh, pull into the town, and you notice that the town is just a small cluster of uh, kind of ramshackle dwellings perched along the edge of the Redwaters River, uh, which is now frozen over, and you guys, as you pull into town, you see a large wooden sign that says the Red Snapper, and that is the town's only bar, and they do not have an inn because of their uh, unfondness for outsiders. Any outs? Oh, uh, well, maybe we should go inside and find That's right, out Thruff. some information. Eros, go first. All right, I'm here to protect you, of course. Uh huh. Thank Terra the... Bera Panera, thank you Ooh. for the follow. Terra Bera Panera! Are you a friend of Jordy Lordy Party? <laughs> <laughs> Jordy Lordy the Forgy? <laughs> okay, I go up to the door and I open it. You yeah. open the door to the Red Snapper and you see that it is like the dingiest, worn down wooden bar. Just a single uh. bar over in the back, maybe a small like half dozen tables, a few booths, but it's one floor. Uh, it looks pretty dilapidated, but um, you do see one half orc behind the bar wiping it down and okay. that seems to be the only person in there at the moment got it well i've had litter box cleaners than this i should hope so you should always clean out your litter yeah. box yeah 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 that's not really a thing you should my be, litter uh... box is sparkling all the time yeah mm. don't brag about that that makes you look bad it's weird. <laughs> Obviously, you should have little boxes cleaner than this. Obviously. Obviously. Not this guy. Not this guy. Yeah. At, at this point, the the half orc wiping down the bar uh, notices the tabaxi walking. He's like, "Oh, what do you want? What's your business here?" Uh, well, I've got some uh, some people outside who. Uh... <clears throat> Are here for some information. Do you have cough drop for my friend Eros? <laughs> His throat very dry. <laughs> yeah, it's called snow. You can grab a handful and shove it in your mouth if you need it. I'll grab a handful Ew. of this and shove it in nothing. Well, thank you for your warm welcome to your establishment. And kind of spits down and like into a platoon that's like down on the floor. Mm. Ping. Ping. Can we go around the drinks, please? 
We only serve one kind of ale here. And it just takes this huge barrel from behind the bar and just lines out four glasses and just fills them all up. But it sloshes all over the bar everywhere. Half the, half of it makes it into the cups. Half of it's on the bar, then spills over and then puts it down. He's like, we uh, five silver pieces. I'm going to go over our arrows. Fine. Right. <laughs> <laughs> why, 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 why are you allowing it? Why? I mean, I'm sipping my ale. I'm getting paid well for this trip. It's fine. Mm-hmm. Nimia just kind of like, uh, and like, she pulls out her little pipe flutes and starts. Uh, as you guys enjoy your ale and Nimia is playing her uh, pan flute, you see a gruff looking dwarf come into the snapper and you see the, the half orc's demeanor like completely change. And he's like, Oi, you want one of the usuals? And dwarf just kind of raises his hand, goes to the back, sits down, and takes him a drink, but you can see that his demeanor is a lot more friendlier towards the dwarf. Hmm. What is deal with this terrible service for us? Hey, thank you for the sub, the Crambo. Uh, maybe we should ask to talk to a manager. <laughs> I think he might be the manager. Excuse me, sir. Excuse I'm me. the manager at this establishment. Yeah, that's me. Why are you so nice to dwarf man so mean to us friends? No offense, you guys are outsiders. A lot of outsiders bring trouble. Well, now this we're here inside. Is Does that make us insiders? <laughs> <laughs> he spits <laughs> near your foot. Huh. And then he just kind of walks back and, and goes behind the bar. Did he, he miss Bratha just hissed at him? Oh no. Oh no, he he knew, but he's deciding okay. to walk away from it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh at, at that point the the sun has already gone down and there are a few more uh humanoid or humans coming into the bar followed by a female dwarf in heavy furs uh, and a large battle axe on on her back and the the humans come in and then uh, the female dwarven comes in he's like orc around another successful day and then you hear the humans go ah they kind of cheer they all go sit down uh, together at one table barkeep is clearly half orc and she, they just call him orc and he answers to that no no no. That seems a very, uh, very inappropriate. I'm just quietly upset about this. I don't, I don't oh, think okay. Uh, I oh, you're like... not verbally upset about this. Okay. No, I am verbally. I, I do say that to my friends. I don't say it to them. I just, I'm ah. talking to Thruff and being like, oh, 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 You said there was a, it was a dwarf with a big battle axe? Mm-hmm. Female dwarf uh, with a large battle axe. I got... I pull out my battle axe and I try to make eye contact. Your your bone saw. <laughs> yeah, my bone saw. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, uh, the uh, let's no, she she's too I- embedded in her drink and and cheersing her fellow uh, compatriots on another successful day. And then I see, see Thruff fail, so I pull out my battle axe and try the same thing. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Even worse, she mm. slams back her ale, dunks the tanker down on the table. Work another, and he comes over, fills it up. Yeah. Uh, at that like point, cool. you see a very uh, well-dressed, mid-thirties, uh, six-foot-tall human male with brown hair slicked back uh kind of. yeah very very well dressed so very different attire from anyone that you've seen so far no coat no heavy furs almost like it was a winter, uh, summer's day 
Oh, hey, hey, buddy. Hello. He kind of looks in your direction, nods. Hey. I, I go like this. And like I, I motion for him to come. I scoot over and I pull another chair between us so that he has a place to sit. Yeah. All right. Thanks, but um, I already got my party Thanks. here. Wow. He he goes and sits down at the table of humans with the uh, dwarf. Eros, you know that this is Sephic. Oh. The, the well-dressed, uh, non-heavily furred in negative 49 oh, degree my. weather. Uh, this guy. Oh, nice this guy. Sword. Uh, ice sword. Ice, ice sword. sword. It's, a, it's a nice ice sword. <laughs> we have the uh, bloody <laughs> chill. <laughs> I miss the white Christmas. I miss the snow. I'm <laughs> oh, wow. You guys should see it from this side. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, wow. Ooh, frosty. Oh. Oh, <laughs> Are your characters making oh. these noises at Sephic? <laughs> oh. I mean, your choice. <laughs> that was a nod. I saw yes. Yeah. That, was, that was a yes, that was a confirmed uh -huh. yes. Uh -huh. Sure. Uh-huh, yeah. I'm still a little inebriated, so I'm like way more obvious than I would normally be as Brata. <laughs> you know what? This is not true. You're you're also crossfaded because of the catnip and the alcohol oh, that you're now consuming. Start <laughs> uh so you're making these like noises and eyes at Sephic and he Rare. looks at you and he's just kind Rare. of Rare. Rare. Right. He, he he acknowledges, makes eye contact, but chooses not to respond to it, and goes back to drinking and conversation with the female dwarf and the rest of his human compatriots. You think he hurt me? I think he did. Yeah. Um, I mean, I mean, you might as well go introduce yourself, right? Right. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Brata so struts up pauses with her flute and she's like, go, Brata, go. Yes, introduce yourself. She <laughs> starts playing like, like, a, like a romantic, like, Exactly. That's what she starts playing on her pants. Oh, my God. Brata, are you going to sit down at the table or are you just sauntering over towards him? I'm just uh, sauntering over to him. I'm going to stand uh, next to him until he looks up at me, and I'm going to look down at him and say, Hey. 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 Um, I'm Sephic. What's uh, your name? I am Brata. I noticed you nice had to... very blue eyes. Yeah. Uh... Because of, uh, well, the, never mind. Weird things happen out here in the ice because of uh, Oriole's yes. magic. One of our friends is petrified in the back of a wagon. He's probably going to die if we don't take him inside. <laughs> we should have probably died. Indeed. You still had the polar bear skin, so you could technically could have, like, bundled him up and left him in the wagon. Kind of like right. a little He's polar bear. He's not a polar bear burrito. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what are you doing, Randy? I know you're Sephic. Hey, yeah. hey Manapot Studios, Manapot thank you for the raid. Thank you. Yeah, yeah just uh, we had a pretty successful date, and uh, we're we're celebrating. I mean, uh, would you guys uh, care to join us? Are are you all together? Uh, yeah. Yes, ra, 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 ra. we are all together. Yes. Friends, friends, come, 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 come. Oh, friends, how exciting. Woo. He, he, he kind of like uh, hits the shoulder of the female dwarf, kind of like to scooch over. Oh, yes, uh, yes, yes. Jordy, uh, uh, for, the, for the character drop, as you, as you guys look out, you see a reindeer centaur shepherding a herd of walruses. You can't tell if they're druid or ranger, even though they're gender, uh, or even their gender, but you're more distracted by the spiritual whale floating in the air that they command, it seems. 
And uh, 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 thank you for the follow, uh, Krifu Bernal. And uh, or, or yeah. Krifu Bernal. Thank you, uh, Fail and Deadly. Fail Deadly. All right, so centaur reindeers plural or just one? Uh, it is uh, oh. uh, 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 a reindeer centaur singular, but he is shepherding a herd of walruses. You can't Ooh. tell if they're a druid or a ranger, and you can't tell their gender. But we are distracted by the spiritual whale floating in the air as they command uh, that they can command. So, one person, lots of trimmings. Got it. Got it. Okay. So the uh, as you guys are walking past the door to go towards and sit uh, at Sefik's table, you you hear like this this herd of kind of outside the bar and you just see like a parade of walruses kind of marching through the the, the front of the door going into the lake and you see a half centaur reindeer uh herding them into the lake like all right now boys let's let's go time to get back into the water and you notice delicious. that there is a Fey type, you can sense that it is a, a magical type creature, but it looks like a whale that kind of just keeps slowly swimming around the the head area of the centaur. Kind of whale. Is it a big whale? Is it a large whale or like a small whale? It, it, it it's shrunken down, so I mean it is technically kind of like a two size sperm whale, but just shrunken shrunken down to fit like almost shoulder size. Oh. Uh, I'll be right back. I burst out and I start chasing after. I want to I want to talk to the shepherd and see if I can get one of those walruses off of him cuz I got the mad munchies. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you approach this reindeer centaur completely disregarding your party that just <laughs> got invited to sit at Sefik's table. You run out the bar, follow this centaur reindeer. Hello, uh, my name is Brata. I see you have heard of walrus. I would like to buy walrus from you. How much for one walrus? <laughs> is, uh, they're not your walrus! Sale. How much for your walrus? Uh, well, the, these are, they're not mine. I just shepherd them. I make sure that they get back to where they need to go. Right, right. And if one got lost along the way or died, how much would that set you back? I, I will make up the difference. You can say this one fell off wagon. Hmm. Well, I mean, that's that's kind of unethical. I mean, I'm, I'm supposed to take care of these guys. I can't... Until they get slaughtered for walrus meat, I'm just getting ahead of the curve. Do you know what shepherds do? I do. <laughs> Make a persuasion we check. that's what yeah. is going out to do? Like, no, he just ran out. He just stuff. ran out. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I wonder if you just <laughs> that's an to eight. shepherd. He's fine. Eight. Mm -hmm. that, that still beat it. <laughs> you, by some frost maiden miracle, you convince this half reindeer centaur to purchase a walrus from the flock that he is shepherding. Well, I mean, if I were to lose one of them, I guess it would be about 20, 25 silver pieces. It done. Pay him 30. Mm. Oh. All right. And then he's like, he, he, he kind of whistles. <laughs> and one of the walruses, <laughs> just before jumping into the, the frozen lake, comes, <laughs> comes back, kind of waddles back with its little walrus tusk. And he's like, Ur! and he's like, oh, no, they're intelligent. I immediately bite him in the neck to kill him. In front oh. of the centaur reindeer. Yeah, he knows what's happening. <laughs> <sighs> oh my god. I I'm I'm biting to kill, not to maim or torture. Right. It's yeah. in my nature. Okay, it I'm is a kill leader. shot. It's it, ethical. <laughs> it still takes him aback and he's not hundred percent comfortable with this, so as this happens in front of his eyes, he's like <laughs> 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 
pretends not to hear the crunching of bones or the spurting of blood that you are now mauling this walrus. <laughs> oh my god. So now... <laughs> I start dragging the walrus back into the tavern. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, uh, kicking the doors. Why did I see you this? Right to bring in this, this walrus corpse. Yeah, and bring it in to um, share with Eros, because I know he's got the munchies too. Uh, immediately, Ork <laughs> goes, What are you bringing that into my bar? I bring in walrus meat. It is healthy snack for us cat people. Eros, please dig in. Anyone else who wants walrus, please dig in. This is for, this is for everybody. It's a celebration. Ah. This half Orc steps up to okay. you, literally gets in your personal space. And how tall is Barata? Uh, how tall is normal? Five two. He's, he's, no, he's big. No. He's a big guy. <laughs> uh, uh, that's a good question. Let's see. He's <laughs> McMunk. We'll, we'll say somewhere around like maybe six feet or something like that. Yeah, yeah I say he's like well, six two. This yeah, half orc bad. is nearing six and a half feet, so mm -hmm. he kind of stands above you, gets right up into your face, and he's like, Get that thing out of my bar right now. Make me. Uh-oh. With pleasure. And you don't even know where he was keeping this hand axe. He pulls it out from behind his back. Roll for initiative. Holy it's shit. It's like solid Brad energy. Like <laughs> solid. Like, make me. <laughs> oh my god. Uh-uh. <gasps> okay. Are you, <laughs> are, are you re-rolling? What, what'd you no, get? No, I haven't even rolled anything yet. Am I supposed to roll something? Roll initiative, homie. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> You're going toe to tour with this bartender right now. All right, I got a 14. Okay, he's got 19. Let's um, he go. Take a has swing at you. put away her pan flutes and has now taken out a loot and is now going ding 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 like playing like battle music. <laughs> she's not having any of this, but she's just gonna play background music for him. It's battle music, yay! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> All right, he takes a swing at you and misses with a seven. <laughs> so you are able to dodge out of the way. Uh -huh. uh, we'll just keep this initiative to the two that are fighting. Yeah. While everybody else who has now like yeah. moved over into Sefik's table and his group who are sitting down to have drinks and to begin a conversation now sees Barata dragging in this bloody... Walrus corpse. It's like bleeding <laughs> out all over the floor. Yeah, it is leaving a streak. Just. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Onto I'm gonna. The... I'm gonna use my, uh, my, my, uh, my claws. 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 Ooh, girl. claws. Okay, roll the hit. That's claws. a 14 to hit. Ah, oh, that hits. Ah, <laughs> oh, that hits. <laughs> Uh, this one's nine damage, as one claw bats him down, and then I get another attack, because I'm me. So I get a... Oh shit, this is a ten? Ten misses. Alright. So I just... BAP! <laughs> you, yeah, you kind of like do the cat thing where like you claw at his face, and so you leave like three little streaks on his cheek, and just turns his head to the side, and he looks back and he's like, that was a big mistake. <laughs> uh, oh, hang on. There's a there's a plus to battle axes. Hang on. One, two, three, four, Fifteen. Does that hit? Fifteen will hit. Yes. Yeah, so boy. <laughs> you started this fight. You're gonna end it. Mm -hmm. You get five points of slashing damage. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. And at that point, uh, Torga and her crew stand up 
from the table, recognizing that these outsiders are now attacking one of their local own. So they are now going to get involved. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we brought in snack. Everybody calm down. Oh, oh by no. the way, by the way, by the way, Ryan still has the two minutes of Dean Powers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Remember? Yeah. 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 Just, don't just act like you mind. remembered. You forgot. <laughs> I'm I'm pretty sure he didn't. Pretty sure there's like a permanent tab that's always pinned open for that note. <laughs> no, no, you have too much confidence in him. Oh, what the hell's on my face? <laughs> what is on your face? I don't know. Oh, no. What? Wait, oh, no. It's walrus blood, sir. It was pain. <laughs> uh, I grab a chair and I I go as the furthest side of the room and I just. <laughs> Push it against the wall and I sit down. <laughs> You're not getting involved at all? Mm -mm, I don't want to fight. Oh, I'm fighting. <laughs> all right, everyone else roll initiative. All right. I will roll initiative just to be a part of the, like, uh, like yeah. Just Are in you the... sitting out too? Oh yeah, but I want to be a part of the initiative. Yeah, okay, I'll roll just okay. in case. In case, I, in case it gets, in case I feel like I have to get it. Am I rolling yeah, a new one? That's probably good. I got a What's twenty. Up? You got oh, a shit. twenty. But am I, I rolling a, a new one? Or am I keeping I, my pretty? Easy, yeah. Keep yours, Barata. Uh, throw. What did you get? Seventeen. Thruff. Thruff. Thank you. Uh, Nimia. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. God damn. Alright, and then Barata, you're keeping your initiative. What was it? 11? <laughs> Crap. What was your initiative? Well, I will Do you guys want to sit next to each other or what? <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys want to share a box? Because I feel like I'm just in the middle of this. I'm you're go, you're the sandwich. Warm up the van. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh no. You tell the warm up the van. <laughs> <laughs> Joe. Yeah. Joe. Yeah. Joe. Yeah, Joe. Mitchell. Joe. Joe. Oh, no. You guys, what did you do? <laughs> <laughs> I did nothing. I, I just brought snack. in a walrus. I got a snack for everybody. <laughs> I did a good thing. Game. I even it's paid all, for it's it. All, it. It's, all, it's all Jordy Lordy. 40? Morty? Jordy Lordy Lordy. Morty. Jordy Lordy Morty. <laughs> Run for it, Morty. All right, so Nimia, you're not a part of this. You're you're sitting out oh, no, voluntarily. So I'm, just my turn to, I'm just taking my turn too. I'm still strumming, like aggressively, like it's battle music. She's just sitting. I like to think you're like the, <laughs> okay. the two brothers in um, Kung Fu Hustle. The... <laughs> yep. <laughs> Sweet. Yep. Uh, all right. So I'm gonna sit and whistle Nimia... in the background, and like all the way in the back, I'm gonna go. Uh, well, along with with Corey, with Nimia's music. Okay. <laughs> All right, Nimia, you play this jaunty battle music tune. Um, <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh. Oh. Everybody up. The Empire is the skinless Joe. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. There you go. Does he want to take his minute now, or are we gonna yeah. let this fight roll out? No, I'm gonna make it worse. <laughs> I'm gonna All make right. it so much better. All right. Okay, Joe, you got it. Okay. Wait, wait. Oh. No. In case you guys don't know, Joe's our bartender for the studio. Now nah, he lives okay, on the Joe. table over there. Yeah, he lives we, on the we, table. He was locked up in here for most of the the quarantine by himself. Yeah. He's we don't Which is we so don't sad. let him on camera because you definitely do not want to see his face. No, he's on parole, that's, so he can't. That's so it. rude. I mean, wouldn't he be angry at you guys for not letting him on camera? Wouldn't he be like? No, like we decided it was either him or Ryan, and it, we we could, it's just Ryan, and that's all we could do because of TOS stuff. And so yeah. Ryan uh, has less sticky fingers than yeah, Joe. His so. face counts as violence, so we're really not allowed to show him on. No. Darn you, TOS! All right, Joe, I'm take ready. the wheel. Ready. Frustrated and angered by the death of his other walrus friends, 
the shepherd joins the fray, bringing all of his highly trained, highly dangerous walruses into the tavern to attack the party one by one. Mm. Wow, I still have time. Well, of course you do. The centaur, the dear centaur, sprinkles some crazy feed onto the ground. <laughs> <laughs> for four months. Oh, no. Uh, and the walruses start eating the feed, and they begin to grow. And they grow legs, big, meaty, manly legs that they can now stand on. And then, instead of flippers, fully operational hands. And they each get a battle axe. The uh, walruses have battle axes now? Apparently so. Well, you know what? This sounds like an extremely good time for all of a sudden as these walruses begin to feast and feed on whatever kibble has been laid onto the floor. Uh, <laughs> outside the bar, you hear this. Thoom, 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 thoom. And there are these long pillars of light that show up and drop these uh, halfling but teenage teenager looking uh, characters all in corresponding monochromatic colors. So one is yeah. in yellow, one is in pink, one is in blue, one is in red, and then the other one is in uh, all black. And they, sh they show up through these beams of light and as they walk into the bar and see this battle about to happen, simultaneously without missing a beat, they all clap their hands together and push them forward and say, it's Morphin time. And uh -huh. they all become armored in their corresponding uh, colors. And they are now about to jump into the fight and start fighting these walruses with battle axes. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's roll an initiative for those guys. Oh, good grief, Charlie Brown! Really All right. Oh yeah, the Power Rangers from two hours ago. <laughs> right. <laughs> and we still have two bard songs. Oh, there's still two bard songs. Oh my God, should we do a bard song? We just right got to the, the town. <laughs> <laughs> we just got to the town. Yeah. yeah. Song before fight or after fight, kids? After, after fight. After, after fight. fight. All right, we'll do a fight. After and we sing a song after fight. Okay. about the glorious battle song that will commence right now. Mm -hmm. right. Ten, ten, four. So, Nimia, you are playing your, your Kill Bill jaunty battle tune. Eros, uh, you're you're up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're going to no, no, need America, that with your power. America. <laughs> God damn. Poor. <laughs> yes, Corey? You okay. said you're you up. <laughs> no, I'm. I, nothing's attacking yeah, no, me. I'm just playing up. my song. Oh, never yeah, mind. Yeah, Nimia is restraining <laughs> from this yeah. fight, just contributing with musical accoutrements. Uh, Eros, yeah. you're up. <laughs> that, that's what I said. Like, I was like, I, I already said my thing. I'm pretty sure I'm done. I did check out. Like, sorry, but <laughs> I did. <laughs> It was can't the... confirm. How dare you? We are the most on top of it, D&D stream in existence. Uh-huh. Uh, sure. <laughs> I'm glad you guys helps be honest with yourselves. <laughs> All right, Arrow, what are you doing? All right, so... Uh, <laughs> I first kind of, like, grab a chunk of meat from the walrus huh? husk. And just shove it in my mouth real quick to just have a bite. Oh, does he have a husk? The, the husk that is, you know, the outside of him. It's just not a fucking piece of corn. <laughs> the walrus. <laughs> the walrus. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I go after the walrus kernels. <laughs> <laughs> if you mash up the walrus real fine, is it walmasa? <laughs> <laughs> Wall mash. Can I Wall hear mash. you too? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, but I grab a, a, a piece, a chunk of- What? <laughs> walrus what? meat. <laughs> I'll say that's a bonus action, Sweet. so what's your action? Um, and then I will um, take my quarter staff and whack- No, take the full staff, all of it. <laughs> Don't just use the little bit of it. Yeah, but make sure your muscles are relaxed first. You're gonna have a bad time. 
I, I think Connie just saw God. That was awesome. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so, I'm going to turn uh, a fan on. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna push this to February now. <laughs> yeah. This is why thirty shows oh. take so long for our show. Oh my <laughs> god! Yeah. You had one job. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, so what are you doing with your actual action? Your yes. full staff. My full staff. <laughs> I will. I will uh, hit one of the. Um, Actually, I'll go after the orc that is going after Barata. Okay. Roll to hit. All right. Oh, God. <laughs> 21. <laughs> that hits. I forgot about the train hit line. That just got me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That is uh, uh, seven points of bludgeoning damage. All right. I'm going to use my bonus pleasure. action. So yeah, you ate Connie the turned the fan meat. on. Do we have that story? Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh said, no! The, the second character I've done, and it started such an unnecessary battle. <laughs> yeah. I just brought in a meal. That's I'm why it's always peaceful. important to name your characters if they're friend or foe. If you have a preference. <laughs> Friend or foe. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, so is that your whole turn, Eros? Yeah, that's all I got. Alright, Thruff, are you restraining from this fight and just enjoying the chaos? So far, Big yeah. Thank you for yeah. the funnel. Alright. Oh, another oh, burr, no. but he's, he's known as a little baby burr. Oh yeah. The bubba bar? The big scare bar. Oh, baby. All right. Bar. So, the big scare bar. Orc is going to take a swing at Barata. Does a 16 hit? Yeah. Okay. Another five points of slashing damage. Ouch. Uh, and. At that point, he, okay. uh, using his bonus action, makes a rallying cry to the rest of uh, Torga's group. Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. Oh, <laughs> they eat their villagers. <laughs> <laughs> this implies that there are restaurants with menus in Mordor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that was the orc. Oh, after that is now the the teenagers with attitude. They are going to that attack the walls. Elves, halflings with attitude. <laughs> also, in Santa Claus, he's like, we're not Pencil, kids, we're not elves desperate. with attitude. Ah, uh, <laughs> I gotcha. Uh, we're all, all right, kids. so we're all these, these five uh, halflings now armored up in their corresponding colors just start hacking away at these walruses, like one by one, uh, and they tear through a decent number of them, actually. They end up taking out three three of the walruses. Um, but you still have to worry about uh, Torga and her bandits. Oh no, they they are with you. After a long day of working and having no food and then uh, taking part in some ale, their aim is all over the place. They are just swinging and hacking widely, except for Let's uh let's see what Senor Sefik does here. Ooh. With Oh man, with a 19, he immediately goes for Barata. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, 19? Yeah. Uh as he approaches you, you notice that he looks you dead in the eye. You see the same blue kind of uh, tinge, kind of frostiness in his eyes. And he summons an 
ice long sword in the middle of the bar, and it just kind of I constructs laugh in his face. itself. As you laugh in his face, he plunges the sword straight into your gut, and you take seven points of slashing damage and five points of cold damage. But I have a secret. Then you take <laughs> half that secret. Okay. What was the other one? <laughs> it was seven slashing and how much? Seven slashing and then five cold. Alrighty. That's why I laugh at his, his stupid sword. Uh, as, as he gets in close enough to know. you to, uh, to plunge his sword in you, he, he sees you laughing. He gives you a little half-cocked smile, and he's like, hm, cute trick. He <sighs> takes his other hand, and you see an ice dagger formulate in his open hand as he tries to stab you uh, in the neck with his second attack. That's a nice knife. That is an oyster knife with the 17 to hit. 17, that will hit. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. That is uh, five points of piercing damage from the oyster dagger and then five more points of cold damage. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And he, he now has uh, two weapons skewered in you almost like a corn on the cob type situation <laughs> he's got one up here next in your clavicle and then one kind of in your gut all right and so that is Sephic. torga is gonna get involved because she's not gonna stand for this ah she takes a swipe at eros who has attacked orc her favorite bartender with a nine Zemius. Eros, that's you, bud. Eros. A nine? Yes. Yeah. I. Misses. Oh, wait, no. Nine, nine plus five, 14. Sorry. Still misses. Ooh. Plus six. <laughs> 21. Plus two. <laughs> ah, bust. 23. <laughs> plus three. Except by three or nine. <laughs> Uh, so she she swings her battle axe at Eros and and misses. You dodge out of the way, uh, and now we up. are back up to the top. Uh, Nimia, you still sitting out, girl? Nothing's attacking me, right? How how many things are attacking Bertha? All of them. <laughs> Currently, <laughs> you have the half orc bartender. You have Sephic, and then. Where was the reindeer centaur? Just commanding the or the the walruses, right? Or was so the centaur yeah. in on the fight? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, yeah. So just two right now on Barata. The the teenagers I'll, with I'll, attitude I'll... take care of the walruses. Uh, as as I'm as I'm like strumming the battle music, um, I sneak in there a little uh, bardic inspiration to Barata. The just like kind of. Whispered out among the notes, so he has sporadic inspiration. But then I continue to just keep going. All right, you have stayed from the fight, <laughs> and it is now Eros' turn. What? I'm just, I'm watching the fight. I'm observing the fight. <laughs> you're providing background music. That's what you're doing. <laughs> it's very important. This is true. Hmm. I'm getting Torga, used. the dwarf, just uh, took a big swing at you with her Bekalax. Okay. Um, <laughs> I think I will use one of my DM powers right now. Ooh. Ooh. All right, do it, do it. All right. <laughs> and so go. Um, the Power Rangers all uh, take care. They actually don't kill the. Um, Walruses, they actually uh, get together into a huddle, they activate their morphing devices, and they place it on the walruses, and they return to actual walruses. Um, the uh, catnip wears off on Brata and Eros. And we realize that, oh shit, we started a fight that we shouldn't have started. We real- we see the uh, the blood on the floor uh, by the walrus that we had dragged in. <laughs> <laughs> keep going, keep going, 
Charisma, thank you for giving the subs. We, we, we agree to clean up the bar, um, drag out the carcass, um, skin it, and, and hand over the, uh, the food to the orc bartender to start cooking for everyone. Um, we, we, um, <laughs> go around. Oh, oh shit. We, we. we ah, have another minute. Minute. I'm gonna take it a normal to person going. 20 seconds. You do have another minute if you want to take it now or. I might as well. I'll say it I'll less get... quickly this time. Thank you, Captain. Thank Christmas you. For gifting all those subs. Thank, Thank you for the subs. Yeah. We appreciate it. <laughs> we appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you for the subs. And. Go. Bink. All right. And so um, we cleaned the bar for them. And in fact, it's actually better off than it was when we got in. Oh, we? Um, oh. And um, the bartender gives us a round of drinks just for uh, cleaning the bar and helping them out. Um, we uh, finally sit down with uh, Sefik, um, and we have we have settled our differences. Um, we, we agreed that it was a uh, drunken night that we all will laugh about later, um, but... At the moment, we uh, have have at least come to an agreement that fighting is not the way to solve our problems. And uh, through uh, throw through thruff thruff, thruff. <laughs> thruff. Uh, has has thruff. agreed to be the the peacekeeper uh, to make sure that we do not start another fight um, through this. Hey, hey, <laughs> I am the keeper. Oh, there's still nothing. Yeah, it's fine. Just gonna it's watch there. the sand. There you go. Yeah. Okay. I didn't have anything else to do. <laughs> I am the keeper um, of the peace. I'm gonna watch the it's sand. like it's five minutes later and after the fight, but I remember that Sephic winked at me. Oh yeah. So yeah. I'm finally gonna wink at him. <laughs> like now that everything's calm, I just look at him and like wink. <laughs> we help. Oh, you're he, just gonna he wink. Wink his eyes at you and just kind of <laughs> do better. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, thank you. <laughs> really cleared that up for me, thanks. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, you guys resolve your differences. You clear out the the walruses. The teens with attitudes teleport the walruses uh, out of the bar. Uh, and Orc, the bartender, the half-orc bartender, uh, accepts your gesture of... Uh, Told him lots of jokes. <laughs> you jester, yeah. Right. Jester, yeah. He he, uh, he takes the the notion in good faith and all right, it's, uh, we'll take this as a misunderstanding. But anything else funny, I'll deal with you the way you should, think should be dealt with. So you don't want the jester. <laughs> Just walks back behind the bar and starts pouring more. He doesn't pour drinks for other people. He pours himself a drink and just. <laughs> There's his problem right there. He has a drinking problem. And just drinks it down. Uh, at this point, it is already dark. So, uh, you guys continue to have some drinks with the rest of Torga's group and Sefik, um, but you see that a few of them are starting to leave and take their rest for the evening, since they've already had an entire, like, full day. So, a few of them are dismissing themselves to back to camp so that they can go take a rest, but Torga and Steph, uh, Sefik are still sitting there at the table uh, with you guys. <laughs> Um, now. Um, is there a place maybe we could hang out for the night? Uh, Tor Torga answers, well, uh, Dugan's Hole isn't the most accommodating place here. They're, uh, as you can tell, they're a little bit unfond of outsiders. They, uh, they like to keep yeah, no, yeah. good protection of their locals. But, uh, uh Good mead usually has a, a, a large heated uh, in there, as well as, don't tell, tell Lark I sent you this, but uh, they have better meat there, too. Mm. Oh, oh, you just came from there, then we have to go back? We passed by it, yeah, but it's not too far away. Or we could so just wait in the wagon. Aren't we supposed to meet someone there? Were we? After on the way back, I thought, did we not talk yeah. about this? Wait, 
we talked about this on the after way back. We finish, after we finish. On the way back. We, when, we, when we are done, Eros. What did the letter say? I don't know. You brought it to me. What did the letter say, Eros? The, the letter to said to yes, me. Yes, I read Lena it out loud in, in a lovely lady's voice. Lena and Goodby. All right. After we yeah, finish this next mission. Big, big? Yes. Good. Again, Ryan? Again for you? I was making sure you knew. But it did mention something about Maybe Sephic. Maybe for what? Right? Or what Sephic was here. Yes, yes. But you guys, yes. you guys, I miss Brian. Fuck. Mm. Mm. This what is you like Brian. Brian on your crazy be. diamond. <laughs> <laughs> As he's wrapped up in his polar bear burrito, all comfy, dreaming of like warm oranges <laughs> and like a long Subway sandwich. <laughs> oh. okay. I want a burrito now. Connie, why? <laughs> 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 All right. Oh, and we do have a. It's it's after the battle. We do have a. Yeah. As a bard song. All right. Okay, Corey. You want to start this one? Side. Don't really side. I'm gonna start this one. So then Chunk has to rhyme with uh, you, and then I have to rhyme with. I mean, Ryan. if you start it, Chunk, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm. I'm gonna end up not being very nice. I'm sorry. What What are you gonna use? Like. Pick a word. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, we made it to Dugan's Hole. We had some drinks all there. We got it. Not fight, but we are now whole. Hey, it was better than Cory. The walrus is now there. We'll start our mission tomorrow. When it's nice and warm. I hope they have something I can borrow. Uh, <laughs> that walrus bit the farm. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I Alright, Ryan, I guess you're cucumber? shifting Wait, down. Wait, no, Cucumber, right? you start. We're, sh we're shifting no, down, down, yeah. Cucumber. The chunk start? No, Cucumber, you start. Why, am I, why are we I shifting backwards? Okay, we can okay. Right the other way. We met the Power Rangers. And they were nice. <laughs> we had to kill a few of them. And then <laughs> put them in ice. <laughs> <sighs> there was a centaur deer person. Who got very angry. Uh, we had a few choice words together. And now we all agree. <laughs> oh, I did <laughs> You're supposed to be rhyming with me. I thought I, that's how. I, okay, that's not how rhymes nope. work. <laughs> nope. Yeah. See. See. I was. I was start. Corey would start the second line. You would rhyme with my line. Chunk would rhyme with Corey's line. Yeah. Uh huh. Rhyming, rhyming is when two words line. sound the same at the end. At the <laughs> end. At the end. Ah. Yeah, the <laughs> mm, like nice. <sighs> nice. Well, nice. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll work on it. We'll work on it. We'll find some more fun improv song games because uh, I don't know if this was going to last. Oh, we still got one left after this. Oh, no. <laughs> wait, is wait, that wait, a Ryan Bard song? It's, yeah. That's the 300 yeah. one. So I, the I don't know. Maybe Connie should do it. I think that she's the DM. I mean, oh, Connie and Ryan <laughs> do it. <laughs> Oof. Or, or, Ryan, or what side do you want? Yet. What side do you want? <laughs> Roll me constitution check. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think people like hearing your voice, Connie. I think they'd like to hear you sing. Jordy. I'm pretty sure Jordy. that's not true. Jordy, put it, put it, put it in our either your, uh, uh, yeah, put it, in, put the it in the photos in our Discord. I want to see it. Yeah. I want to see your Discord. rainbow Discord. Oh. Uh, da -de -da -de -da -de -da -de -da so are we waiting on a riot song? Waiting on? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll, yeah, we're waiting on. We'll come back to it. Or, are we continuing and then we'll end with a riot song? 
Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Yale? <laughs> yes. Okay. Oh, uh, so you guys are sitting at the table. The rest of Torga's uh, compatriots have left. The rest of the walruses have been taken care of, and the <laughs> halflings with attitude have bid you adieu, uh, seeing that their job has been taken care of and that they've successfully uh, teleported all the walruses out of the bar. So you're sitting at the table with Torga and Sefik. What would you right. like to do? I'd like to shut the fuck up because I keep <laughs> fucking things up. <laughs> I'd like to sit quietly and drink my drink. Smart choice. All right, yes, Thruff. Chunk. Yes. Um, Thruff. I have a question. Mm. Yes, Chunk. I forgot yeah. what we're supposed to be doing. I'm, I'm glad sorry, he said it. it. You look surprised. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> I feel like Ryan is like transferring like subliminally my my frustration and just like ah. But look at him, he's free. <laughs> <laughs> you're like the genie, you're like, what's next? <laughs> oh my god. You don't have the I just need a quick reminder. <laughs> yeah, so um Real fast, uh, Lena has hired you to take care of Sefik, and uh, by take care of, she means kill him oh, and not involve the party. Oh, that's oh, we're the having guy. a nice little drink with the guy. We're having a great time. Oh, I was like, oh, you're supposed to meet this dude. He's kind of oh, cute. And, uh, <laughs> she left. She's gone. That's not what I'm gonna do. <laughs> we made friends. <laughs> <laughs> when a bounty hunter hires you to take care of something, they don't oh. mean um, to make are we, are we out of initiative? Yeah. That was my fault. Who wants to do the first thing? Oh my god. Because I think if no one wants to take it, I'm just going to dive across the table with my battle axe and cleave the fucker in half. Do it. With Torga there? <sighs> Are we not supposed to do it in front of Torga? We should just wait until he goes to bed. Oh, good night, Torga. <laughs> good night. See you good night. later. Good night. You look See you tired. in the morning. We should get some sleep, Torga. Good night. Good night. Wait, 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 wait. We can salvage this. I have an idea. Wait, I yeah. have an idea. We can salvage this, right? So, Brata, you went, he winked at you, right? Yeah. So, yeah. and you wink back? Theoretically? Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, like, Flirt with, hey, yeah, he'd like flirt with him and like and figure out where he's going to be sleeping for the evening. <laughs> I, I very I very casually slide our, our tavern key across the table until it's like under his palm and then I wink at him again. First of all, where did you get this tavern key? Because there's no inn in this town. <laughs> I take the tavern key back and put it back into reality, and then <laughs> I, uh, I lean out to, to Suffolk and I say, rah, rah. What, uh, would you like to perhaps get a uh, nightcap? You mean other than the bar that we're already sitting in drinking? Yes, yes, you know, so, somewhere quiet, somewhere we could enjoy each other's icy wintry company. Oh my god, make a, know make a persuasion other. check, please. Exchange <laughs> words. I need to make a persuasion check. <laughs> oh I my got god. a 12. <sighs> you got a what? I got a 12. You got a 12. So you can, you can, you have a, you can add that bardic inspiration and add a d8. To I'll it. do that, I'll do that, I'll do that. Don't do you that. have some blessings too? Do I? No. <laughs> no. Okay. I use mine. I don't awesome. hoard them no, like these know. children's. You know what? Oh. I bet. I but bet you today. You have a D eight. Yep. And now it's a fourteen. I only rolled a two on it. 14? I bet Connie thought we were gonna kill this guy by like eight p.m. Hmm. You know. <laughs> we only. So how's the category have... looking for you, Connie? <laughs> At nine ten, we figured out what we we're supposed to do. <laughs> Even though I already told you what you were supposed to do. 
Wait, wait, remember when listen, I said that? tell us lots of things all yeah. the time. Oh my God. I, I hate that I have to keep reading that. You gotta treat us like idiot children. Oh we won't God. remember. No, wait, 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 wait. I have a question. I have a question. Yeah. I have a question. Yeah. Yeah. Ryan, did you remember that we were supposed to kill this person? He's no. gonna say yes, but he doesn't. No. No, he didn't. <laughs> no, he didn't. Okay, good. I didn't. <laughs> See? Oh, okay. Hey, Connie. <laughs> Idiot children. <laughs> okay, I'll I'll be a little more blunt next time. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. With bats over the head. Right. Constantly. I, got, I got 14. Is he into it? <laughs> Jesus. You know what? For shits and giggles, yeah, he is. He oh, toots into this. Right. Oh, look, there it is. Oh, oh wow. That looks awesome. Ew. Wait, what is, Wait, what is that? that that's, Holy that's crap. The deer centaur. Oh, deer centaur. Uh, the deer centaur. That's dope. Holy crap. Oh, oh where is it? Is it in the perception us? check on Discord. Oh, perception check. It's a 3D. <laughs> so, Sephic responds positively to your offer of going to some place. He responds uh, positively because I'm a Yes, Leonardo. he does. Um, <laughs> and he, <laughs> <laughs> he... He looks at Barata and says, What Ooh, did you have in mind? Tell me the money. Thanks for the money. Merry Christmas. <sighs> mm. <laughs> the Cramble says, so when you asked us to kill this guy, you know that you wanted us to kill this guy? <laughs> Alright, so he's into it. So he's into it. Leans in and asks, what did you have in mind? Well, I was thinking, uh, I grab a bottle from here. I, uh, we, 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 we sit relax someplace. You know this place better than me. We just have a few words, that's all. Just enjoy the evening. I do know this uh, kind of re remote location, but that is pretty beautiful where you can uh, see Orioles uh, display up into the sky. And he's like, no, no need to steal from Orc here. Orc, bottle. And he just kind of wa waves him over and Orc uh, plops down two green uh, like wine bottles corked uh, onto the table, gives Sephic a nod, acknowledges uh Sefik picks up the two bottles and begins to stand up and he gestures towards the door he's like after you you guys are gonna later. start your own little fire in the cold <laughs> right i i so when we go outside and i start like marching i make sure I, I dig my paws pretty deeply into the snow so i leave a very clear trail in case this all goes terribly wrong right uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Uh -huh. Brown cow. <laughs> uh, is Barata the only one going with Sefik at this point? Yes. yes. Are we not invited? I mean, um, we're following. I'm, I'm, I'm following. Yeah, we're, we're quietly following, like, yeah. in the distance. Just kind of keeping an eye to see where they're going. Yeah. yeah. Make a stealth check for those following. Uh, Barata, uh, as you are walking alongside uh, Sefik, he takes you out towards, like, the edge of the, the frozen oh. lake. And in between two kind of almost abandoned-looking shacks, but they're just really run down, uh, you see that there actually is a wooden bench and kind of a bucket where it looks like it could be a fishing spot, but you actually do see uh, the sky pretty open. There's not a lot of trees, so you get a pretty good view of the sky. And you do see the uh, Aurora Borealis that uh, the Frost Maiden has left behind because she has already made her pass over the night sky, so she has already cast her spell for this day. It's very beautiful if it weren't so grim. Whoa. Well, what do you mean by that? It would be nice to have a little bit of sunshine every now and then, no? I mean, sun is nice and all, but when you've been blessed by the Frost Maiden, I mean, you can't look a gift horse in the mouth. And I know that uh, you too have been blessed by the Frost Maiden. And he looks you dead in the eye. <laughs> This is very true, very true, very observant you are with those big blue eyes. <laughs> Takes one to no one, and he kind of scoots a little closer next to you, kind of cuddling up a little bit. <laughs> uh, I feign, I, I feign shyness, and I kind of like, I, you know, like it's like almost like a dance. You know, he scoots in, so I like stand to turn to like examine the, 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 the like the cabin that's behind us. 
Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But in one swift motion, so like as I'm turning away, I'm imagining he's if he's still facing forward. I guess this is an if. If yes. he's still facing forward in one uh, fell motion, I'm gonna get both hands on my battle axe. I'm gonna swing at his back. <gasps> Make an attack with advantage. Surprise. Okay. Let's see. So that's uh, dirty twenty. <laughs> Reroll that. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, 13? Do, 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 do. You know what? We roll that too. Nice. Ooh. Because she doesn't want us to kill him. A a a 18. Okay, you know what? I'll let you, I'll let you have this one. Uh, but before we go through with that, what did the stealth checks end up being for the rest of the party? 19. I got an 18. 18, 19, Eros? Nope, 9. <laughs> I was 8. 9. No, I was ah. 19. Wait, what was I? Fuck. 19. <laughs> what right. was I? <laughs> Don't make up numbers. Right. Actually roll a dice and tell her what it is. Listen, <laughs> I know this is mostly Brian, but I need you to be serious. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to take this seriously. <laughs> um... So Nimia and Eros follow behind extremely stealthily and are able to keep out of like line of sight of Sephic, but Thruff, you're not so stealthy and you have blessings. You have three blessings. You do have three blessings. You do have oh, three yeah. blessings. Can I? Can I? Sorry, I, I, I had a six, a, a d6 to my roll. Mm-hmm. And I can't make you re-roll it. If you Sweet. use your blessing too. Nine plus four is thirteen. No, I want to do it. I want to do it. Okay. We'll wait. Thirteen. Thirteen. Oh, okay. Thruff, you manage to kind of squeak by uh, unnoticed, but luckily Brata was able to kind of distract uh, Sephic to where he didn't notice you guys following him. Mm -hmm. Distract. All right, so uh, roll to hit, Cucumber. I thought I already hit. You did. You did, yeah. Uh, sorry, roll damage, I meant. Uh, sorry, sorry, that's, sorry. That's 12 damage with my beefy, beefy battle axe, and that's just the first hit. Now I'm gonna roll the hit again. Oh boy, 27 to hit. Ooh, girl. Oh my. Okay. Ooh, re roll. <laughs> <laughs> re roll. You still have some? She has four. Yes, I have Jeebus. four. All right, fine. fine, fine. <laughs> why? Chunk, why? Chunk, why? Uh, 15. Mm. Chaotic neutral. Mm. Still hits. That's fair. Yeah. Not as much, though. Chunk is. Chunk is. Right. <gasps> yeah. 11. Oh, 11. 11. 11 damage. 11. Oh, is this all slashing damage. or piercing? Uh, it is. Punching. Flashing. Flashing. Flashing with a battle axe, yes. Slash slashing. As you make your two attacks against Sephic, you eat. Turns to you as he takes these these hits in in the back. He slow turns his head to you. Niagara Falls. <laughs> <laughs> and at that point, how far away did the party end up staying from them when they sat down on the bench? Where would cover be from them? Uh, there are two kind of shacks in between, or I'm sorry, on either side of the bench, so you technically could have coverage on uh, either side. Gotcha. I'd be, I'd still probably be staying in the shadows until I saw something go down. So you can be uh, under <laughs> coverage of one show. of the, sh the shacks. Did we roll for initiative yeah. yet? Not yet. I was actually going to ask you to roll initiative oh. right now because I want to know how far away you guys are. <laughs> yeah, we're like we're as close as we can be. We're still being covered. You tell us what All that right. is. Yeah, see, chat gets the joke. All right. All right. Uh, but first, before... Okay, so everyone roll initiative. Uh, Sephic is actually going to take his turn, though, to hmm. respond to Cucumber or Barata's attack. Uh, a 19... 
Yeah, that'll, that'll, hit, that'll do it. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Very loud. Mm -hmm. uh, you, he summons his l long ice sword and you hear it kind of assemble with like clacking and, and crunching of snow and ice formulating together like as it assembles uh, into this long sword and he stabs you um, in the shoulder. Five points of sl nope, sorry, seven points of slashing damage and then five more points of cold damage. <laughs> and then he's going to try and stab you again with his ice dagger bye bye. in his opposite oh, no. hand. Uh, -huh. uh seven? Seven will not hit. Seven misses, so uh, he he gets you with the long sword and then misses with his offhand with his dagger. Uh, now, initiative for everyone. 18. 20. Five. Four. Three. Two. Two. No, what did you get first? God damn it, truck. Oh, first. 18. 18. 18. <laughs> and then four was cucumber. Yeah, I got a four. I got a four. Oh. And then seven was when these yeah. jokes are fresh again. <laughs> I got a five. I got a five. I got five. A Twenty. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So Nibia. <laughs> all right. Oh, seven, motherfucker, Epic. God damn, seven. seven. Okay. So, uh, cucumber Sephic has gone. Eros, uh, you see that Barata has attacked Sephic and that Sephic is retaliating. Wow. As you guys are in cover, not that far away, and you are now up. Right, I will run into the fray, <clears throat> mm -hmm. and I will uh, attack with my quarter staff. All right, first attack, mm. twelve to hit. You can roll at advantage since he is engaged with uh, Barata and has oh. no idea that you guys That's are so there. Soon, but okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Twenty-four to hit with an advantage. That that indeed does hit. Sweet. With your quarterstaff. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, and then that's six points of uh, bludgeoning damage, and then I will oh, use a key point to unarmed strike uh, mm. with my flurry of blows. Mm. So he gets two more attacks. He gets two more attacks. Why? Thank you. No, no, no. Sorry, you. not. <laughs> <laughs> mm. How about a kind? That would be lovely. <laughs> All right, what you got, Toe Beans? <laughs> uh, 17 to hit. 17 does hit. All right. Uh, and then, so that's, first attack was a 17 to hit, so it's now, that's another eight points of damage oh, um, with my claw strike, and then another attack, uh, nine? Okay. Nine does not hit. Eh. Oh. Oops. <laughs> You got two attacks in. <laughs> Next is doo 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 doo. Nope, that's the wrong initiative. Hmm. Uh, that's not the right one. Thruff. Ah, uh, as I see this to happen, I pull out my, my my battle axe and I start running towards them, like uh -huh. with tears in my eyes, because I really don't want to do this, but I know I have to. And then as I pull my axe, you hear bone saw. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. You hear in the back of your head, it's playtime. And I attack him with my two attacks with my battle axe. All right, roll to attack. 11. 11. Does not 11. hit. And 16. 11. 16 hits. Sweet. <laughs> Seven damage. Seven point slashing? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm still crying. Oh, 
he Sefik is now fully aware that the rest of the party has uh, backed up Brata and knows that this was a coup. Nimia, you are up. Uh, yes, I'm going to. I'm going to. Yeah. With that realization, I'm going to step forward and cast hideous laughter on mm. Sefik. So he. So. All, all of a sudden, he perceives everything as hilariously funny and falls into a fit of laughter. He must succeed on a wisdom save. Uh, 15? Uh, he beat it. Damn it. Well. Uh-huh. Uh, is it half damage? No. So it doesn't actually do damage. It just knocks him prone. And it, it becomes incapacitated and able to stand up or do anything for a minute, which is 10 rounds. So it just where it was gonna incapacitate him, but he beat it. Okay, so, so he doesn't, work. it doesn't do any, like, extra psychic damage or anything? Okay, uh, so you try to cast, what was it, Dissonance Whispers or Hideous Laughter? Hideous Laughter. Hideous Laughter. Uh, it, it does not phase him, and he's able to, uh, mentally resist your attempt to, uh, charm him. Brata, you are up. Okay, I would like to. <laughs> I would like to continue to swing my battle axe. At, uh, That's right, swing. <laughs> swing away. Yes, ma'am. I got a fourteen to hit. Uh, that does hit. That is a uh, nine damage, nine slashing damage with my axe. Right, all right, all right. <laughs> Wait, do I get advantage because he's laughing prone, or did he beat it? No, he beat it. Okay, next hit. Yeah. Or next attack, rather. 19. Oh, baby. 19 hits. Oh, baby. 11 damage. 11! <laughs> Slashing. <laughs> woo, 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 woo. <laughs> rah, rah. 11 damage. <laughs> All right. It's now Sephic's turn. Bye bye. He is going to... Oh, actually, everybody kind of converged in on him, correct? Or is there somebody uh, still staying apart? I'm, I'm definitely at least melee. 30 feet away from him. I'm not up on okay. him. I'm at least 30 feet. I'm in melee. I, yeah. I'm a melee fighter. Okay, yeah. So Nimia is the only one that's not immediately in... That, that has converged in on his uh, position. So at that point, he's going to know that he is surrounded mm -hmm. and he is going to cast Misty Step and teleport 30 feet away next to Nimia. Ah! <laughs> right. he, he kind of... He looks at the, uh, the tour and he's like... Sorry, darling, and just <gasps> thrust forward with his long sword. Mm. Consent. Ooh, uh, thirteen to hit. <sighs> uh, my armor class is fourteen. Ha! Ah. Ooh, he misses with the long sword, so you dodge out of the way, and he's like, "Nice moves." And then he goes to hit with his offhand dagger. That wasn't a special wink for me. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, Ooh, ooh, 19. Damn it. Aww. Oh, but it's a dagger, so it's only five points of piercing damage and then five points of cold damage. Because so he stabs you with his ice dagger. So as the dagger pierces your side, you you feel cold pulsate through your body and you, your body temperature just kind of begins to drop a little bit. And that is his attack. Oh, he started his turn. Ooh, fantastic. Okay. <laughs> oh, what? Nothing. Real, quick, real, quick, real quick, real quick. There's a question for yeah. uh, for Thruff. You, were you messing with my stuff? Yeah. Were well, you messing with my thing? Yeah, I was making you colder. Uh, they said, uh, what oath did you take, <laughs> Thruff? <laughs> <laughs> You know, you're That's old. a question. That's a question in half. That is a good question. But you know well, what? There's a lot of things going on right now. I think it's a question that I should answer next week. Ah. Oh, okay. okay. No uh, Arrows, <laughs> you are back up. Sweet. All right. I On will deck rush. is rough. Gotcha. I will rush to aid Namia. Um, and I will strike him again. 
We're all level five, Tigeron. Yeah. <laughs> or as Brian would say, Tigerian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 19 to hit. That does indeed hit. Fantastic. He will take another five points of bludgeoning damage. Oh, perfect. How come Ryan never stays in, in like the center of his box? How come he's always off to like a bottom left corner like this? Oh. Where does like this in the bottom oh. right. He's making use of his space, okay? Leave he's him alone. He's a screensaver. That's why he takes so much time. Bing! 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 Five points of damage. What else you got? I got another flurry of blows coming his way. So two do more thing, attacks. Do Julie. Uh, that uh, one says, how do you title a clip? You have to save it yourself. Uh, and then as you're doing it, so instead no. of using the clip command, you just clip it the old fashioned way. Boy, he's got gotcha. Yeah, yeah. So you use the clip like on the screen. You see the little thing on the bottom, bottom, what, the right? It'll say a little clip and then it'll open up a different thing. Do ya, do ya, do ya. Do ya. Do ya. All right, so uh, first hit is a 17. Aha, uh -huh. yes, yes. All right, that one will hit, and he takes another seven points of bludgeoning damage. Mm -hmm. Seven points. And then a 22 to hit. <gasps> Grrr, yeah. And six points more of bludgeoning damage. Mm -hmm. Ten gotcha. four. Uh, you are, with your monk-like reflexes, you are able to whap, 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 just kind of get a couple quick hits uh, <laughs> on him as he is get distracted. Get a bucket and a mop. <laughs> it's a whap, whap, whap. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna roll D4 on that. <clears throat> Take two points of psychic damage, Brata. Oh no! <laughs> uh, punishment. Punish for my jokes. Punishment. That's the only reason I'm here. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Uh, for okay. Being funny. Um, <laughs> arrows. Yeah. You're done. I'm just gonna say you're done. Okay. <laughs> Throw <Thrust>, you're up. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna continue to cry and swing my battle axe. Okay. Those bases. <laughs> it's a 19 that hits. and a 22 uh, both hit what's the damage mm -hmm. three and seven so ten ten total Ten total. Uh, as you guys are beginning to wail on Sephic, you notice that uh, as you are cutting and, and gashing into him, instead of blood coming out, there is no blood, but you see almost like a blue kind of frosty, um, not smoke, but just kind of mist emit from those cuts. Ew. But there is no blood. Ew. Gross. Uh, oh, is, is that with your bone saw too? Yeah. Ah. Are you adding plus one to each of those? No. Because the bone saw was plus one on each, well, each hit. Pl plus one damage? Yeah. So. So add two more, so wow. 12 total. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna add it. Yeah. Uh, so you guys, you guys are cutting up Sephic decently, and there are more gashes that are kind of emitting like this cold, almost mist-type smoke uh, from his body. Uh, Nimia, you are up. I am very offended that he came over to me. Nimia is very offended that he poofed over to me. So I am going to cast Dissonant Whispers at a mm -hmm. higher level. Dissonant Whispers. <laughs> what you got? He needs to make a wisdom save. Uh-huh. 17. Damn it. Well, either way. So basically, while he's standing yeah, right next to me, um, <laughs> I'm going to whisper a very, it's a, Nimiya whispers a very oh. discordant melody into his ear, uh -huh. and he's going to take half damage. damage. Okay. It's yeah. going to be psychic damage. So I rolled 23, so half of that. So 11? Yeah. 11. Hi, Toxic Babs. It's me. As as <laughs> you whisper these arcane, it's it's dissonant whispers. Oh my God! It's also it's... Chunk. <laughs> no one said that. 
I'm mad at you. Uh, you you yeah, whisper in, in into his ear. What do you say to him? Ooh. Um. I I. I say, uh, oh god, oh god. No, 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 it's oh not god. it's not words. It's a melody, right? So it's a tune. Okay. It's a very like for some some uh so basically it's that almost like throat singing, like two notes come out and it's a melody that uh is very nice and almost lullaby, but the underlying like almost bass notes are clashing against them. It's a bunch of tritones, so it's like and just like moves across. As like it kind of rings across the snow, and like it's very. I'm just picturing a Scott Pilgrim band battle. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yes. ba- basically. So as as you, all I can see uh, is the word like. Definite whispers. <laughs> <across the street>. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it clutches his head, and you see him kind of stumbling, like trying to hold himself together as it, on his cuts, and you just see him crumple and fall into the snow. Yay! Yes! Yay! Heal me! <laughs> uh, and as you see him uh, crumple and fall into the snow unmoving, what are you guys doing? Bundle him up. We must return him for price, or we just take head? What do we want to? No, I just thumb? take... Th- we should probably just take the whole thing. Might right, right. Gross. We take whole thing. We nestle him in next to uh, <laughs> next to our companion. Yeah. <laughs> can we behead him just in case? What? You can behead him just in case. I'm not gonna touch that. How about we behead him when we get there if all they want is the head? Okay. We just also, we're, we're like tying him up just in case. Oh yes, very much so. I take okay. the okay. sword. I stab him a bunch more times. Uh, before you guys are able to uh, bend down and and scoop him up and begin to wrap him, you you all feel a cold wind. You feel the temperature drop around you significantly, and the wind whips around. Your face is stinging from the ice and the snow coming around, and you hear this ominous voice. All of you hear this simultaneously. Is that any way to treat a champion? And at that point, you just... <gasps> Sef- There's a breath of life in Sephic and <sighs> all the ga- gaping holes that you guys slashed and cut into him now grow over with ice and he becomes armored. He loses his hair and he has this undead appearance and begins to stand up but every part of his body and joint cracks and shifts with the ice and he stands there flaming blue glowing eyes still holding the ice sword in his hand he's like you didn't think it would be that easy Seven. and that's where we'll As pick up fact, we did. <laughs> no yes, I, I definitely thought it would be that easy oh sorry it was the end of the session <laughs> <laughs> Ended uh, on a kill bill note. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, cliffhanger! No! <laughs> Go with the cliffhanger! <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Thanks, Connie! Woo! Yay. Thanks, everybody! Yay. Thanks all of you More for episode. all the support. When we, uh, I You're guess welcome. we owe you a song still, right? Yeah! yeah. Ryan right. owes him a song. Ryan owes him a song. <sighs> Wait, oh, you can I... do your own. You can do your own. I did. I did. I did. I did. Yeah, you don't have to rhyme with oh. anybody else. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's easier. Every other line. It's easier. Yeah. And, and oh, I'll just, right. I'll just drink along. There we go. Oh, all right, right, right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, sing, Papa Ryan. Oh. And a one. And a two. And a one. Two. <laughs> um, five, six, seven, eight. We went to Dugan's Hollow. We went into a bar. And there were all these guys around and got into a, fa- a jar. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> That's it? <laughs> well, that was and then Connie does a verse. Yeah, how about this? The two DMs go back and forth. They yeah. Yeah. Break. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's, let's start there you go. Yeah, Connie, da, you da, 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 okay, okay, okay. Oh, the gang went to the Dugan's hole. 
there they met some friends. And found a bunch of walruses. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you literally only have to rhyme with yourself. <laughs> that is how I've always heard it like sung on Whose Lines It Anyway. Wait, no, yeah. that is the... What? Yeah, they, they rhyme the way you were supposed to were telling you to rhyme. No. So the so usually on whose line you don't have to rhyme the one in the third line yeah. the one the first and oh, the third it's line the it's the second, second and the fourth, and the fourth. Yeah. but oh. but so oh, wait, that's where that's you get is oh, heaven is forbid I challenge anyone no. here <laughs> no I disagree yeah. wholeheartedly I the system so. I'll tell you what tell you what I like the one in the three one and do it what. <laughs> what? A lot of people said things at the same time. Barometric pressure? What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did, 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 Chunk. <laughs> chunk, chunk, you and me, you and me. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I did, I did, I did, I did, I did, I did, I We fought a man named Sephic. We thought we killed him good. But, oh boy, his back was thick. Now I want some food. Oh, I did, I did, I did, I did, I did, I did, I did. Wonder what's gonna happen next week. I don't really know. Khan is gonna freak. God oh no. <laughs> I'm sure that there'll be snow. Oh, oh I did oh, 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 being wrong. Yeah. 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 Commit to the bit. You did, you did. See how we move forward past this bullshit. Yeah. See, we pulled, we pulled past my terrible, my oh. terrible stanza or whatever. Oh. Mm -hmm. We just go on the next one. Okay. It's terrible Costanza. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> meow. <laughs> you just always do the call and mockery meow. <laughs> uh, wow. Yay. Thanks, everybody. Uh, uh, so come on. Uh, thank you again. All of your donations go right back into the studio. They allow us to create more and more content for you guys, including all kinds of fun stuff. You also, uh, if you think anything you saw was worth a buck, uh, you can also join us over on Patreon. And uh, tiers three and above are going to get an exclusive Patreon pin that just came into the studio today. Ryan's wearing one. You see, you're seeing it backwards. You'll see it uh, forwards in real life if you're a tier three and above. Uh, and uh, it's, it's beautiful. It looks real nice. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And as always, we're gonna pay the love forward with a raid. Who are we gonna raid? Yeah. We are gonna raid. Um, let me see if they're raid. online. We are gonna raid. Ba, 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 and ba, also, we are happy holidays, raid. Merry gonna Christmas. Raid. Oh yeah. Happy, happy holidays, holidays, Merry Christmas. Christmas, well, there, it is, there it is. There it is. Over Great. the week, over the oh. break and stuff like that. Be safe. Oh, lip, Be lip, lip, wear your mask. Oh, stay oh, inside. Oh. Enjoy yourselves. Pretty, so pretty. It's so glittery. That's it. It is very pretty. You. Mary Checkermas. Mary Checkermas. By the way, they didn't come in this packaging. I'm having to package each one by Yeah, hand. so that, yeah. Hmm. I mean, it looks very nice. The packaging. Sure we can help you with that during setup. And stuff. They, can, they come in little, like, drug bags. Is ah, there a way to get more than one pin? pin? Of this pin? Yes. Probably not. Why? Because it's it's exclusive just if you're signed up for Patreon. You will get this. But pin. if I am signed up to Patreon, what if I want more than one? Sign up twice. Sign up twice? That won't I work, know. actually. So no, don't do that. Uh, <laughs> no, you get one. You get one. There will be other pins in the future that, are, that you'll get uh, other ones off. Corey, this one's Corey, special. It's special. Corey, you're hurting Corey, our don't brand, be, Corey. Don't be greedy. Don't I'm be kidding, greedy. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. You know what? You know what? I, we gave, Ryan got one, so just ask Ryan for his. <laughs> Ryan yeah. so You'll give it to you. I mean, it's backwards, so I don't know if you want it. Um, it's backwards. Well, no. 
Yeah, who are we writing, Ryan? Cave Geek Art. Cave Geek Art. Oh, Cave I've Geek Art. Not too long ago. It makes yeah. beautiful maps. I, <laughs> I gotta tell my manager to actually send him the map that they were talking about. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. All right, y'all. <laughs> All right. See you next week for the continuation of Rhyme of the Frost Maiden. Love you all. You know what we can't do on the Frost Maiden? We can't rhyme on Rhyme of the Frost Maiden. Have a great night. No. <laughs> I can. Bye. 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 Bye.